Weather First with meteorologist Joshua Rivas. All right, and good Friday, everybody. Here we are. We're closing out the work week, getting ready to go to the weekend. Unfortunately, not the best of endings. I mean, we don't have the rain, but it's certainly humid and warm to hot. Almost a taste of early summer across our area. Let's go through time here. We're looking at afternoon showers and storms going into the weekend. So about 36 hours left before we tap into the nice, comfortable air on Sunday when the front begins to pass through. Now again, on Saturday morning, it certainly will be humid and mostly cloudy, but rain free. Afternoon and evening is when we expect the rain chance to increase. And then next week, the seasonable, nice conditions continue. That will be the trend. Local models showing off partly cloudy skies this evening. Showers towards the east. A lot of showers and storms towards the north. Moving through the panhandle overnight tonight could get rough at times. Strong storms around noontime tomorrow mainly I-4 northward, and that line looks to weaken a little bit as it moves into our area, but still a decent rain chance late in the afternoon and evening. Again, one model and one model run. So we'll watch it closely to see the exact timing and the amount of rainfall we are expecting as we wake up tomorrow morning. So you want to stay tuned. We'll have updates as we go over the next 24 hours or so. But by Sunday morning, looks poised that the front will pass through and we're looking at clear skies from north to south as you wake up on Sunday. Service maps, area of low pressure well towards the north, but helping to yank down the front into our area, which is bringing us the rain and the comfortable conditions for next week. As we go into next week, service high pressure begins to fill and for the northeast, northeast, so north of us. So it's going to help to develop an easterly wind. So we're talking about a dew point difference, say, between the 40s on Tuesday and dew points in the 50s on Wednesday. That certainly is 10 times better than the 70s we're experiencing right now. So we'll take it, but it's going to be less comfortable on Wednesday compared to Tuesday, but still rather nice. Moisture, a lot of it for Saturday, so some locally heavy rainfall possible along that line. Much drier Sunday and Monday, and really into Tuesday as well. Wednesday, there's still plenty of dry air out there. Again, a little bit less comfortable with that easterly wind, breezy, coming in off the Atlantic, bringing in a few more clouds for your Wednesday. In the upper levels, trough here along the eastern seaboard, helping to bring us the cooler temperatures for Sunday and Monday. Leaves out quick. Next reinforcing trough is quickly by Tuesday, so keeps us cool. Wednesday, it's leaving pretty quickly. We have that surface easterly wind develop. Another possible trough, we'll watch it closely by the end of next week. That one could be much stronger, bringing us below normal temperatures by next weekend. Temperatures for today in the mid to upper 80s to near 90 inland. So a very hot day inland, very humid, a breezy southerly wind. Not really going to bring much relief for you because all it's going to do is help to bring in a lot of humidity. For tonight, pretty humid. Temperatures in low to mid 70s struggling near the coast. Maybe a spotty upper 60 inland overall in the 70s and humid under mostly cloudy skies. Marine forecast rest of today turning partly cloudy. We should see the sea fog die out. Seas two to three feet, moderate chop temperatures in the 80s. Same thing for the beaches. Looks good. 748 for the sunset. Surf one to two feet. Warm, but cooling down as the southwesterly wind kicks in later on towards the evening. 70 forecast starting out warm. Chance of rain Saturday with some thunderstorms. Breezy through Sunday, although Sunday it's breezy in the morning as the front passes through. After that, it should die down Sunday night into Monday for almost a chilly start. But nice. We're looking at temperatures next week near seasonable in the upper 70s, lows near 60 degrees. Again, looks very nice. Yes, looking great for next week. Enjoy it. I'm going to be out there. Hopefully you do too. All right, that's it for now. Another web weather updates coming up later on today.